In front of me, the hall stretched in length, as if I'd be walking for miles on end, and suddenly stopped. It stretched out at the end of black void materialized from the collective shadows, congealing into one mass, like a blood goddess obstructing the artery. In an instant, everything snapped back to where it once been. Then, the doors, that were just seconds ago, charred, started violently slamming open and closed by themselves. It was as loud and violent as a 21-gun salute. From the darkness of the threshold of the open doors, I could see faces, blacker still, peeking out whenever the doors opened. Open, face, slam shut, and repeat. The whole ordeal was like some fucked up, sadistic, psychotic, demonic, whack-a-mole game that lasted for what seemed like hours. After an unbearably long diminuendo, the entire situation halted. As if someone stopped time itself in its tracks. My heart was pounding, and my blood was pumping as fast as possible. I jumped up to the door and quickly closed it behind me. I was not going out into the hallway, even if my life depended on it. The adrenaline was coursing through my veins, and I hardly let out a pit of pain. As a figure suddenly materialized outside the second story window, staring through me with eyes that were almost invisible to me, I watched as the being, darker than the night itself, backed up and repeatedly ran into the window pane trying to break through. I guess I'll leave the library after all. Running through the hallway, constantly looking over my shoulder to see if anything was giving me chase, I quickly turned to a sharp right and descended down the stairs, carefully placing my steps as not to fall down. It wasn't so hard. Anyone so uncoordinated as to fall down a flight of stairs surely deserves to die. At the bottom of the staircase, I was face to face with another horrifying entity. Its face and palms were pressed up against the glass which made it look like a bloated, boorish beast. Anything other than its face and hands were invisible when put against the night outside. Its eyes were as black and soulless as its skin was pale. A disturbingly wide grin revealed teeth that were disgustingly rotted mixes of greens, yellows, and blacks. Its short, quick, and shallow press instantly appeared on the cold glass and almost as rapidly disappeared. Speedily turned on my right heel and sprinted down the first floor hallway past windows which were occupied by seemingly terrifying monsters. I stopped as I almost ran into a wall. Feeling all of their eyes on me, I suddenly turned to face the beast. Every single one of them looked at me with a primal, greedy, ravenous hunger that chilled me down to the marrow. Everywhere I moved, their eyes would only follow. I screamed, and they found sadistic delight in my suffering. Their breath fogged up the glass as the demons breathed more and more rapidly. Their fists and palms hammered against the glass as they drool and rave and chant as they waved their prey to surrender.